Hey there everybody, what's up? So, I might have to keep this one a little bit short because, well, let's just say I've got something uh, to do later today. And uh, with this being Saturday, which is the new day we uh, were filming Get Sweaty. And uh, not only that, we're also filming it in a, in a much earlier time uh than what we usually used to do at first when i first started coming on the show we were going live at like 1 a.m and stuff like that then we moved it to uh 10 a.m because uh we had me and Saul who were in a different time zone than uh ben and matt so 10 o'clock 10 a 10 p.m my time was a lot easier for the four of us now that we've moved it to uh, to Saturday, because it was easier for Seoul, because Seoul couldn't really be on the show every Sunday for work purposes. We moved it to Saturday, and uh, well, Matt has work on Saturday, Ben has Mount Schmodown on Saturday, and uh, Seoul has uh, the Ultimate Schmodown show on saturday uh so the only basically uh the only comfortable time for all four of us is around six um 6 p.m 6 uh, 30 p.m my time so it's a little bit have a tight squeeze and uh, well I'm not even gonna say that I overslept today because waking up at 4 has kind of become a regular thing for me in the last couple of weeks which to be honest I don't really care about anymore I've, I've gone well beyond giving a damn when I wake up it's just, you know, up until recently everything was closed down anyway, so there wasn't really much to do. So, uh, yeah. Okay, it looks like too, too much noise over there, so I'm going this way direction. Trying to avoid large crowds. The smart thing to do, not just for, uh, because it helps the show, because it, uh, there's less background noise, but also... But we're still living in COVID times and I haven't get, got vaccinated yet. I did, however, get an appointment for a vaccination, which will be next week. On Wednesday, I think. Which should be just around the right time for um, parade hour on Wednesday. So, maybe I can make an episode out of it. Who knows? In any case move from uh, the area where everybody's screaming and yelling to the area with lots of wind. Let me just go in this way. So in any case, um, like I said, I have to, uh, I have, I've got to get sweaty later today, which I'm totally unprepared for because um, the topic for this week, as chosen by Ben, Ben Rayner, is uh, top five best chemistries in movies, in honor of uh, Valentine's Day, the most useless day of the year, other than my maybe my birthday. Uh, but uh, well, I guess I shouldn't see. My birthday is useless. I mean, after all, it is also the Independence Day of Argentina, as well as being Tom Hanks's birthday. So, yeah, it's totally not completely useless, but still. That's why I said Valentine's Day is the most useless day of the year. In any case, um, yeah. First, it started with best couples, 
in, uh, in, in movies, but then once he kind of explained us the, uh, his rules for this uh, top five, we kind of all came to the realization that simply because two characters are written as couples or love interests in a movie, that doesn't necessarily mean they've got good chemistry with each other, so... Um... Yeah, problem. So we decided to go with best movie chemistry. Now, I don't necessarily know what movie chemistry means. I never understood the whole term. Oh, these two, these two actors have great chemistry together. I never got that, you know? Probably because I don't have chemistry with anybody, so... Maybe that's that. And plus, I failed chemistry in school. So, uh, I don't know. So, I think may maybe I'll just uh, look up... Um, um, top 5, top, or a list of top 10 couples in movies with best chemistries and just copy some answers from that. I don't know. In any case, that's, that, that's enough talking about Get Sweaty and my problems in life. Let's talk about this game. So, something that's happened in the last couple of days that um, uh, really drove uh, the direction of this show was the new lunar year. Look at that, I'm grabbing. In, in, in any case, uh, the new, new Lunar Year brought with it some new challenges and some new missions that I haven't actually completed all of them yet until now. Because if you remember, last episode I needed to um, send five gifts to friends. I only, I was only able to send three because. None of my other friends have opened their gifts, which prevented me from sending the new gifts. I'm gonna go that way direction this time because I've heard there's something new over here. From uh, my mom, who was it, who, who, who visited me yesterday, and she brought her dog with me, as I've mentioned in a previous episode. That's why there was no episode yesterday because I spent all day yesterday with my mom's dog. Um, because the, the dog trainer came, which is going to be a regular thing on Fridays from now on. Anyways. Oh yeah, she said that there's something new over there. I'm going to check it out. In any case. Now, I, I do believe I have at least two friends that I can send gifts to and finally finish this mission if it is indeed the final part of the mission Hold on. Now, it didn't really count on the wind being here but then again you can't really predict the wind can you? Okay, the sun is now neatly tucked behind these two buildings over there so I guess I can take off my sunglasses and switch to my regular one This mill tank would be kind enough to get captured. I can move on. If this, if this Pokeball doesn't work, goodbye. I got better things to do than waste Pokeballs on, on mill tanks. Anyways, let's finish this off. So, uh, only nine minutes. I was hoping it was more enough for a full episode. Alright. Let's see if I can squeeze some more content out of this episode. One positive thing about opening these gifts is... There's a slight chance I'll also get potions from them. On a bit of a downer side. It doesn't always happen. Blue Croc. Kind of looks like a shiny toilet aisle, doesn't it? With 
like the yellow spikes instead of the blue ones. And yes, shiny. Actually, no. What's more of the color of regular Toyota Dial with the uh, with yellow spikes instead of red? Not the shiny version. I'll give him a mud kit because he sent me a blue croc statue. Okay, this guy. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not gonna open gifts from this guy yet. There might be another part of the mission. Hold on. Let's do this smartly this time. Okay, let's see what Pokemon this is going to be. A Sea King. Another red Pokemon. Much more red than Goldeen. Okay. It's uh it's an event mission Pokemon, so it's probably gonna get captured in one Pokeball anyway, so I didn't even need to waste too much time on it. Now let's claim these rewards. The Mega Gyarados energy and is it a Gyarados? Nope, it's a mill tank. Okay. How much do you want to bet that if there's another part of the mission, the reward is going to be a shiny Gyarados because it's red and it kind of symbolizes the celebration of the Lunar New Year? Let's see if there's anything more. Yes, apparently, th apparently there is, and I don't think I can complete this mission. Cast 20 fire types, make 12 great curveball throws, which I can do, but send seven gifts to friends. I don't think I'll be able to do that because, again, like I said, people just don't open gifts when I send them. So, I don't know. But as I said, um, it's going to give us 100 Gyarados Mega Energy, which will be enough to Mega Evolve one Gyarados. Oh well. Let's just see what this is. Pretty sure it's going to be a Snorlax. Yes, yes, shut up. Another 2000 Stardust, the Universe Stone. Some more XP. Almost close. To, oh, there's a Snorlax. I'm really close to level 40 now with all this XP. Pretty sure I've got like um, less than 400,000 for uh, level 3, level 40, sorry. In any case, looks like someone sent me a gift. Let's see how many gifts I can send to people right now. See, all these people, most of them I've already sent them gifts a while ago. None of them have opened it. Some of these people aren't even playing the game yet, so it doesn't really matter. Bottom line is, I need more friends in this game. Probably needs a few more friends in real life, but, you know, already given up on that. Oh, look at that. Now I see why my mom, why my mom told me to come here. They open a nice little kiosk here, which apparently is open on Saturdays. So, it's great. Not really sure what I'm going to do with it, but it's great. Okay. As, and as I said, none of these people have opened their gifts from me. Sometimes I get people who open gifts once every week or so. Which is so annoying. Like the whole point of this is to exchange gifts with one another. Why won't you open them? Okay, this guy. This is the guy that I've mentioned who opened, uh, only opens a gift once a week. Huh. He's done a lot of alcohol in that new kiosk. Good for some people, not for me because I don't drink. Kinda nice. Anyways. I hate it when people send messages 
while I'm uh, recording an episode because then it, that means I'm going to have to censor it because I don't want peop uh, people's phone numbers to be up on my screen I don't want people accusing me of giving away their phone numbers just by doing this show there we go, I sent two gifts and that's about it pretty sure I can put a Pokemon here, thank you So yeah, stop sending messages when I'm recording the show and uh, start opening pr gifts that I sent people. That's my message to the people watching this show. As if anyone's even watching this. Okay, since I sent a couple of gifts, we got some event uh, missions. Okay, yeah, a Meowth kind of makes sense for an event like this because Meowth is kind of based on the whole lucky cat thing with the charm and everything. Let's see what else. What's the other one? Another Meowth. Okay. By the way, something I completely forgot to mention, a couple of days ago, right before um, my mom showed up, um, I wanted to go buy some some cake, you know, so we can have something to, uh, to snack on during uh, her visit. Because, you know, when guests come over, you buy some, uh, some, some uh, you know, some stuff. Okay. Uh, have fun with, with your guests. So I went outside to buy cake at 3 in the morning and uh, I took my phone with me because I thought maybe I should I should play some uh, some Pokemon Go while I'm going uh, to the uh, the gas station and back because the gas station is always open. Except on very special occasions where they where everything is closed, which does not include the, pan the pandemic. So I took my phone with me, I played some on my way, and uh, I said to myself, maybe I should turn on the camera. Uh, just, you know, to have fun. And as I was walking with the, the phone and with the camera on and stuff, something pretty interesting happened while I was doing that. Shiny! Whoa! A shiny Krabby! In the middle of the night! Who could have predicted? Well, probably me because I... I recorded myself doing it, but wow! Shiny Krabby! That's awesome! I was hopeful, but I didn't expect to get this. Let me just quickly evolve it. Even though I kind of feel shiny Krabby, Looks pretty great in this color, but uh, I want a shiny Kingler. Well, well, look at this guy. He still looks great, but I think I think I prefer shiny Krabby. Oh wow! Well, guess turning on the camera while going outside to buy something uh, was actually a good idea. So as you, as I'm sure you've already seen in the video clip that I just added to this. Uh, to this episode in post-production here is a shiny Kingler that I caught uh, two days ago when simply going outside to buy some cake yeah I think I'm going to make this a rule now that anytime I leave the house with my phone and I'm planning to play Pokemon Go while doing it I'm going to turn on the camera and uh, if there is a shiny encounter, and more importantly, capture, in it, in it, when I uh, go outside with the phone and the camera, I'm gonna keep it in the video, in the next episode. And this little incident from two days ago proves that it's possible. 
should it should probably increase my chances of hold on of having more shiny reactions this month as opposed to uh, the last couple of months shiny reactions on camera that is if you stop that great giving me more work to censor out more things anyways I think 20 minutes yeah I think I've done enough for one day unless of course we'll find another shiny probably not a Charizard because it's two Pokemon weak to rock probably a Needle Queen because it resists rock and it also resists uh, electric, which is the exact, which is all of uh, Gyarados' weaknesses. But so ground type, which is weak to uh, water, which is what Gyarados is. So uh, yeah, Needle Queen makes makes the most amount of sense. In any case, I think I've done enough for one day. Like I said, a relatively shorter episode because I need to get back home. I need to. Um, edit out all of these moments when people just uh, sent messages and had their phone numbers up on my on the screen during my show yeah lots of fun time today and I'll, obviously then I'm, I've got to go and uh, scramble uh, five my uh, last five minute min minute um, list of the top five best chem chemistries and movies that's uh should be fun anyways um that's it for today i guess and i'll see you all tomorrow goodbye hello again everybody i really hope you enjoyed this video because i really enjoyed making it so if you like what you've seen here please remember to like share comment and subscribe for more awesome content like this so until next time guys i'll see you guys next time